I started cycling later in life. I think I was maybe 26, 27. I went crazy from there, just riding all the time. I ended up buying a single speed just to commute around New York. I rode single speed for a bit and then I was like, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna make this fix and just go for it. I used to ride around the city a lot with this one friend. He had a team racing at Red Hook Crit London and he was like, oh, you should come out. And I was like, yeah, I've never been to London. I wanna go. And then I was like, well, you know what? If I'm gonna go, I should probably just race this thing. Like, why not? It was like 2015, my first race ever. It looked like a super dork. I was wearing mountain bike shoes with Dior sunglasses on. <laughs> like It was just like so ridiculous. And then I was like, oh, this is actually, this is kind of fun. I kind of want to do the rest of the series. And so that's where it started. After that, like, I started training on my own, going pretty hard, like preparing for the next year series of Red Hook Crit. I started to have some problems like during that time. My right arm just had gone numb and then it just got progressively worse. It started to go like go down my back, into my butt, like down my leg. Shortly after that, I had gotten a call from a neurologist and she was like, oh, you know, we found some lesions on your cervical spine and they're consistent with MS. Around this time, there was this woman that I raced fixed gear with and she started racing para. And I was like, this seems like, you know, something that I want to explore because you know, I definitely don't feel like I can race the same as what I did before. I started riding a lot of mountain bike trails after getting a mountain bike for my birthday, and that's sort of when I fell in love with riding on dirt. The way my body works riding trails was just easier on a gravel setup, so I got a gravel bike and it was awesome. When I moved to gravel, it's definitely like a space where everyone is kind of accepted and everyone starts on the same start line like whether you're a pro or just out there to have a good time everyone does the same race i think the biggest thing and honestly the most difficult thing i've learned from this whole journey is acceptance accepting what you can do and then doing it I spent a lot of time not finding joy in cycling until I realized, what are you doing if you're not having fun? Like, why are you doing it? The best part about gravel riding is it is fun. The terrain is always changing. It's technical. You really have to think, and I love that. It was really hard for me to accept that not everything is in my control but once I did, I felt liberated. I didn't feel held hostage by my diagnosis anymore. You know, you really have to understand and accept that it's gonna be different, but you can still, like, you're not limited. Like, in a sense, yeah, sure, it's different, but that doesn't mean you can't live life to the fullest and enjoy things and be out there and do things. Like, it's still there for you when you're ready.